Hello everyone, thank you for your AIAB and News Conference 2023. We are happy to share the project, a purpose-built multi reference complex, and today's topic is exploring different beam implications in MIC, how they work, and the benefits they offer. My name is Jim Yu, Assistant Beam Manager at Soy On Joint Venture. You are welcome to scan the QR code at the bottom right corner to fill my LinkedIn profile and learn more about me. So before everything is done, let's see the video for our project. Welcome to our project. The purpose-built multi-welfare surface complex include enough. In this macro-scale project, our project team attempts to push the MRC that is beyond by trying directive technologies. We have applied beam throughout the project life cycle, from plan to operation phase. Beam is also integrated with advanced construction methods such as MIC and MIMEP design and fabrication. Innovation and technology have brought better construction quality, lower pollution to surroundings, and more controllable safety to the site. We believe that our effort will reward us with sustainability for our people, community, and environment. As the industry is stepping forward to Construction 2.0, it is our pleasure to lead this pioneer project in Gutong North New Development Area. Gathering the faith-worthy experiences of RGC and the energetic spirits of Shui On Joint Venture, we are confident that this project 
Cordon Law Multi Welfare Services Complex will eventually set a role model for the blueprint of smart city for our neighborhoods. Okay, so thank you for your patience. Let me start with the project introduction first. A purpose-built multi-welfare service complex is a designed and built project that will provide 1,715 places for residential care homes for the elderly. The building, the building will be constructed using MIC technologies as well as DFMA and MIMP techniques. The site is located in Kuta North Field Development Area, and the project has actually completed by quarter 4, 2022. The MRC dormitories are mainly located on the typical floors, and other functional rooms and places such as the day active center are placed on the ground floor, while shared recreational activities will be placed on the rooftop. The single dormitory is combined with the six pieces of MIC, which are formed by concrete and including architecture fitting out and MEP surfaces and they are all manufacturing in mainland MIC factory. And the joining sessions will be installed on site. So here's the demarcation for your easy understanding. There are four wing quarters that we are called wing A to wing C. And each wing will be provided from 64 to 72 units, with a total of 252 beds by each floor. And here's the project challenges. I would say that the project challenges can be divided into two main sessions. The first one, the new construction method technologies of MICs since 2019. Even though our project is not the first one, the way of construction to adapt MIC technique could be different due to various reasons, such as the MIC design and materials and the design interfacing environment. Therefore, we have to find a way to solve the technical and assembly problems. Also, the impact of COVID-19 outbreak, which has affected to the whole industry. Additionally, there are another challenges related to MIC that need to be addressed. For example, need to determine any formation or special construction method for concrete MIC prefabrication and assembly. Due to the MIC technique, the construction period will be shortened. Therefore, Lead to design the panel phases accurately, including manufacturing, construction floor cycle, or even logistic management to avoid any delays. And here's the solution with film implication. The implication of beam use can provide ideas and solutions during the design, construction, and operation phase especially for the MIC design technologies. Beam use can be excavated at the early stage of a project to ensure smooth design progress before mass production. Additionally, smart construction and management system such as RFID monitoring should be planned for the construction phase and beyond. In the operation phase, photogrammetry can be used to assist with the spill bordering and access management. These videos can bring the great benefits and profits for the construction digitalization. Well, let's talk about the common data environment CD as a single source of truth. It is a centralized digital platform where all project stakeholders can access and share relevant information. Ensure so that everyone involved in the project is working from the same set of accurate and up-to-date information. Reducing risk of errors, omissions, and misunderstanding, and so on. Using Autodesk Construction Calc, ACC, will be suitable solution for the project. As it caters to multiple disciplines, they use Autodesk AEC portals for the main design authority of beam modeling. Various beam formats like IFC for OpenBeam, RVT for Revit, and NWC for Lafisha 
can be stored in the document management system, DMS. He certainly improved the design communication by the using the same modeling format and increased productivity during the BIM cooperations. So, here's the CDE workflow according to the ISO 19650 series, which provides a unified approach for information management. You will see that the folders like WIP, Share, Publish, and Archive. Roles and provisions should be set up to ensure that the files are stored in a secure and centralized manner. Model coordination should assess the shared folder through special progress such as checking, reviewing, and approval. This should be done the stack cost labeling for easy checking purposes. And this ensures that the modeling for cooperation is accredited and serves as a single source of truth. So let's talk about the MIC. All dormitories are made using a total of 1,750 pieces of concrete MIC. This time, we have chosen self-competitive concrete, SCC, for the construction joint and assembly. SCC can be divided as a fresh concrete that flows under modular own weight and does not require external vibration for compression. It is used in construction where vibrators cannot easily to use for consolidating concrete. By the way, the design of MRC using the SEC method is the third lead project for the concrete MRC construction in Hong Kong. This will provide a good case study for the future references. To maximize the portability benefits, we also adapt MIMEP and DFMA as well as the prefabrication technologies and green construction. In total, 315 sets of MIMPP chunking and several DFMA switch mode boss, FS, and sprinkler pumps were used. The modular production was done off-site to allow the faster construction times than traditional methods. Increased efficiency, construction time, and, and, sorry, and reduced labor costs, especially considering the increasing labor salary in recent years. It also improved site safety such as reducing the risk of fall from heights. And this is environmentally friendly, minimizing consistent waste amongst other benefits. It was mentioned about interfacing MIC with self-competent concrete, right? 3D printing of a digital fabrication is a solution for the prefabrication studies, including a pair of MIC in total 12 pieces of the surrounding SCC, for the better insights for the design discussion on hand. Okay, phase planning is one of the major challenges to ensure the early stage of MRC production and site utilization planning goes smoothly. The planning simulation including method statements, fabrication, and safety requirements will be visualized in details and to be discussed for design reviews. Other simulation in the bottom right corner demonstrate a 16-day cycle of a single wing in MRC living construction with a self completed call quick. This simulation ensures that the construction effectiveness can be maximized and stabilized, avoiding reverse and reducing costs. There's another site utilization planning involved addressing logistic issues using multiple Autodesk applications. By using Infoworks to collect GIS data and zone scanning of photogrammetry for the most updated site environment. Those point count and data will be transformed into surfaces by Civil 3D. Furthermore, we collect true MIC truck data and simulated the true size and wheel steering of a vehicle. By using vehicle tracking with 3D animation, we can simulate it with an accurate result. In case there's any questions with matters, we will point them out to engineers for design changes, removal of temporary statements, and other actions. This simulation reduces delays in a 16-day MIC floor cycle and speed up for the design for discussion. We care about the site safety and human rights is always our top priority for protection. 
Digitalization can help with the mindset training by using VR environment for MIC living stage. We created checkpoints to be selected, and user can choose whether there's a safety zone or not. During the VR training sessions, we receive positive feedback that the game setting of VR training will be, be will be better and easier to remember, and it will help workers to stay alert on site. As a result of using vehicle, uh, vehicle training technologies, there are zero accidents happen during the living stage. The RID platform is specially designed for the MIC monitoring using IoT hands-in applications. The checkpoints are divided into produce, delivering, arrive, and electric stages. All information exchange, including MIC serial numbers, ROM numbers, dates, and e lectures, etc., is done instantly and immediately displayed on the web platform. Beam monitoring is integrated with the platform for 3D visualization and also 2D demarcation for easy checking reference by using Autodesk Fault. This improves construction management performance and also reduces paperwork and agreement greener environment. We are adopting an open beam approach for design cooperation. Compared to traditional RFI, there's always a one way out for the issue request by creating issue reports that will cause replies to be received late after the design meeting. Imagine that the multi disciplines are using CDE and reviewing the update official order regularly. Designers and engineers can check and easily redesign the model, as well as reply the ELFI issue by OpenBeam and the add in in the Lafish work before the design meeting as long as they find a solution. For the, east, for the early design of stage of an MIC, which is crucial to catch up with time. This, appro this approach improves management efficiency, reduce document errors and omission, amongst other benefits. So here's the simple workflow for introducing the open beam approach. You will see that the document management of CDE with Autodesk Construction Cal is still in the main coordination platform, required for the further workflow to design communication. The IRC format will be displayed on the web-based platform for supervision. Generally, they are all related and correlated with the design communication for our graphic, graphics web, or IRC web platform. That makes engineers can be involved and easier to use. And one of the methods for SPU site verification is photogrammetry scanning, which involves creating 3D models and maps using 360 photographs. This technique is used to create high resolution images of physical spaces like MIC dormitory, which allows to end details analysis and additional annotation for measurement distances. Additionally, it also supports the VR integration. And finally, photogrammetry scanning can be also integrated with a robotic trust to create the point count data of a physical spaces automatically. This progress involves mounting high resolution cameras on a robotic trust that can move automatically through the spaces, capturing images as it goes. The point counts and data can be exchanged by Autodesk Recap Pro to create the detailed 3D models of a space. This approach to scanning has a several advantages. First, we estimated the need of human operators to physically move the cameras to the space, which can be time consuming and labor instant. Second, the use of robotic trucks allows them for more efficient and accurate scanning, as the truck can move in a consistent and controlled manner, ensuring that all areas of the space are captured. So finally, I hope you will enjoy this sharing. Thank you.